Hello everyone, I'm Patrick Fisher, the founder and president of Next Level Character, where we develop athletes into leaders. In this video, I'm going to give you more on me and my background. You've seen and heard a lot about my personal story, my dramatic character transformation, but you don't know too much about me other than that. I'm being very intentional about sharing about myself with you because if you are going to entrust me to help build the character of your son or daughter, then I believe that I need to be transparent with you about who I am. First, you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter as Patrick B. Fisher, B as in Bradley. You can also find Next Level Character on those platforms as well. You will find that I'm very real. I'm not one way here on video and another way on social media and completely different in person. In that sense, I'm pretty boring. I'm the same no matter how you meet me. So, here's some things about me. I grew up in an area known as the Quad Cities. That name represents the four largest cities of the area. The four cities are in Illinois and Iowa, two in each. Depending upon who is counting, there are about 20 other small towns around the four largest. All told, we're about 350,000 people. Specifically, I grew up in the hometown of John Deere, you know, the farm implement company, Moline, Illinois. I was 22 and graduated uh, from Illinois State in 1985. After a short time in Peoria, Illinois, I moved to the Chicago area where I lived for 32 years in seven different places, including three years in the city when I went to graduate school at the University of Chicago. The six other places were all in the suburbs. I have a bachelor's degree in mass communications from Illinois State, and from Chicago, I earned a master's in education, specializing in measurement, evaluation, and statistical analysis. I left the city in the fall of 1990 to move to the, uh, to the townhome my future wife and I built in Gurney, the home of Six Flags. We lived there for 12 years until we got divorced. I started my journey of character transformation in 1999 and we were divorced in 2002. After that, I bounced around the western suburbs until moving back to Moline in 2017. Now I live across the river in Bettendorf, Iowa, one of the Iowa towns of the Quad Cities. I moved back to my hometown to get married, but since my character was still out of whack, that relationship went sideways. So here I stay for the time being. So here are some things about me. I'm a numbers geek. I love sports, specifically baseball. It's a numbers thing. I love being outside and hate winter because in the Midwest, you have to stay inside mostly. To that end, Texas or Arizona really has my heart. I can bicycle and golf year round and take in some baseball for almost 10 months or more uh, out of the year in the Phoenix area. The heat doesn't bother me much. Besides, I'm a morning person, and that's when it's coolest. Both places have a lot of good food that I love. So there's that. Things I like to do outside besides golf and bicycle include, but are not limited to, hiking, mountains, skiing, sightseeing, walking. I love being active. Life is too short to just sit around unless I'm watching Cubs baseball. I love Chicago food. Italian beef, steak, pizza, thin, deep dish, and, st and stuffed. There is so much good food all around Chicago. I also have a thing for Texas-style brisket. I love barbecue. I do have a lot of hobbies and interests. I could have been a scientist in any number of the physical sciences as I am enamored with natural phenomena. Meteorology, geology, volcanology, plate tectonics, tsunami, and on and on. I love it all. I am absolutely fascinated by all of it. So while I never want anyone injured or killed by any of those things, I love when they occur and the follow-up discussion about how and why it happened. I probably know as much about weather as anyone who didn't study meteorology in college. I've studied it all my life. I am pathetically ethical. I have very, very high ethical standards. I had two ethical issues come up in a job and my boss swept them both under the rug. Both issues bother me to this day. I still want to do something about them. 
I kind of have one of those get it right personality types. That has always been me because of the bulk of my career has been in high stakes certification testing. You know how doctors and dentists are certified in various areas of medicine and dentistry? That's what I've done. There is a high degree of confidentiality with the exam results and a high degree of uh, exam security because of cheating. So you can see the need for someone of high ethical virtue. So you can rest assured that anything and everything to do with next level character will be done on the up and up. Nothing shady or questionable. Never. Doing so would violate everything that I and next level character are about. My love of food, particularly ice cream and cookies, resulted in my contracting type 2 diabetes. I'm sharing this with you because at the end of the day, this is part of my character journey. Self-discipline, self-control, responsibility, and probably a couple other traits come into play here. This is the most difficult thing for me. While I'm down 55 pounds from my heaviest, I can still stand to lose another 20. This is not easy, nor is it fun. Fortunately, there are a lot of excellent companies out there producing low-carb foods for people like me. That makes a big difference for me. I'm very grateful for those companies. Nonetheless, I still need to exert self-control. Feel free to ask me about it. I'm very open about things, especially those things about which I share publicly. The reason I embarked on this journey to see what made me tick is that I'm very introspective. I seek to understand why I do things. Seeking understanding is a primary motive in my world. Once I understand something, I can easily assimilate it into or eliminate it from my life and allow it to change me. I've experienced that multiple times, more than I could ever count. Well, I think that about sums me up. You're always welcome to ask other questions of, of me in topics I may have uh, not mentioned or in topics about which you'd like to learn more. As I've said, I'm an open book. I have nothing to hide. Any illicit things I've done in my past, I've turned away from and they're no longer part of my life. Without patting myself on the back too much, I know what it's like to be a man of poor character. And now I know what it's like to be a man of good character. Admittedly though, I still have a ways to go and always will. I will always be looking to be a better version of who I am today. And I encourage all you watching this video to do the same. Be a better version of yourself today than you were yesterday. I think of it as wash, rinse, and repeat. But you know, when you do that, you'll improve your character, you'll improve your life, and make an impact on the world.